Hi, welcome everybody to our second 2021 Women in Business Luncheon Meeting. Yay, I love the fact that we can all still meet even though it's not in person. I say that uh, we're flat people in this venue, but I can't wait till we're three-dimensional and in person, hopefully in the very near future. A uh, couple of announcements. I uh, wanted to let everyone know that we are doing a golf outing this year, and that will be in person. Mark, you want to just say one minute, just say something about the golf outing or less? Yeah, sure. It's uh, June 16th, the Wednesday before Father's Day. Uh, we are... Um, going to make a donation with a portion of the net proceeds to the AUSA Junior Scholarship, ROTC Junior Scholarship Fund in memory of Colonel Sam. It's going to be a great time. I know an email blast went out. Uh, we have lots of opportunities for sponsorships for, you know, come out for the golf. It's going to be fun. And then if you don't play golf, come out to the after event, um, which is uh, going to be a nice cocktail party, which will be held at Bella Vista Golf Course. Thank you so much, Mark. Uh, so next, I'd like um, who's here from Beacon. We have, well, let's say this. I want to first thank BCB Bank for being the sponsor of today's Women in Business Luncheon. And Holly and Jerry are co-chairs of the Beacon of Heroes Award. Any one of you would like to just say another a few, minute, a, a few words about the Beacon? Go ahead, Holly. We, as we stare at each other on Zoom, right? <laughs> so our Beacon of Excellence has been rebranded as Beacon of Heroes this year and will be July 22nd, also at Bella Vista. It is a hybrid event. We will have an in-person cocktail celebration as well as the ability to Zoom in for anyone not comfortable yet coming in person. And we're going to honor all of our frontline uh, people that have helped us through this pandemic, our five hospitals, the Visiting Nurse Association, Mental Health Association, um, the Monmouth County Board of County, of Com County Commissioners. <laughs> I'm still trying on that one. And, um, and an individual, Kevin McNamara, who's going to represent all of those individuals who've struggled through COVID. Excellent. We're looking forward to it. Thank you so much. And um, I'm going to just mention uh, the Athena Awards. I know the award, it's the awards luncheon itself is going to be Friday, November 5th, but we're looking for the nominations to come in now. We've got uh, two months left to get nominations in. Uh, the deadline for um, the nominations is June 30th. So we're pushing to get no those nominations in now. And of course, sponsorships for all of these events. So the last thing I'd like to talk about is the very next big event that we're having on this Saturday, May 1st, 9.30 a.m. Catherine, can you talk about the Leadership Summit? Um, Trez, I think. Is she there? She can't talk. She was mentioning she might have a lot of noise in her background. Oh, so okay. Okay. I'll just mention it real quickly. Um, but yeah, that is this Saturday. And uh, we've got an amazing keynote speaker that's going to open it up. Um, and she is from, um, the, let's see, the trade, what is it, trade um, management of Disney? Yeah, she's the director and of trade management. Uh -huh. It's going to be excellent on, uh, con I think, the conscious leader. So it's just going to be a lot of fun to hear her speak and open it up and get us all energized. And then we've got a lot of speakers in the room with breakout sessions. So definitely it's, um, you know, it's going to be a cold, windy morning. Jump on and enjoy that before you get out there for the rest of the day and uh, great networking. So, you know, you can still register. So, yes. so that's that, this is that Saturday and Catherine has done an amazing job putting this together. So we'd love to, we're gonna see her in action. Hey, <laughs> so, Catherine is amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. She's the co-chair of the YPG and she's done a phenomenal job putting all this together uh, from start to almost finish on Saturday, two days away. Uh, I also wanna say if you know any students Jackie, if you know any students, please send them the link. We've been putting it all over Facebook. If you want, Jackie, maybe afterwards you and I can communicate so I can get the information to you. Um, because we have a student rate of $20 um, to, uh, to hop on the line and, and it's gonna be great for people of all ages, but we would love to get some more students on there too. Okay, I'll introduce it to my class. You caught me at a good time. Oh, yay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> all right. And with all that being said, Sherilyn, I'll give it back to you. 
Thank you. And thanks for all the announcements. We want to do that in the beginning because at the end, uh, we want to just go right into after we um, hear um, Jackie speak, we want to do that raffle. So we want to get some of those announcements out, at, at, out. We do have a lot of great, great stuff coming up, as you can see. So um, women in business team, can you please wave? Um, and it's Holly and Jerry and Anne and Tara. I can't see your hand waving. I know there she is. Um, and Bonnie is there. Um, she couldn't be on, uh, she's on phone. And, um, and uh, Mary Ellen is not able to get on today and uh, Debbie Wagner, but this is, um, I think I got everybody, I think. Um, so amazing team. And I wanna thank them because uh, this is how it keeps working and it's been working for a long time. And a lot of us have been together for a long time. So um, it's all about a team and that's what just makes this, you know, work. and. And Holly was the one that said, Jackie. And I'm like, Jackie, yes. <laughs> and how many years ago was that when we were at, oh my gosh, the place was in Hazlitt. And I'm trying to think of uh, what it's called at the time. And I forgot what it is, but it was upstairs. Great turnout. And when Jackie and I were going back and forth, I just said, I can't believe it's been, I think, what did I say? Eight years, something like that. So anyways, thanks to the team. And, and I'm going to, you know, hand it over to some of a, the team here to keep this going since it's not uh, just me. So on that note, um, Tara is going to quickly announce our wonderful sponsor. So Tara, you're on. Thanks, off. Sherilyn. Thank you. It brings me such joy to introduce our event sponsor today. Smart, kind, generous, beautiful, and my dear friend and many of yours, Holly Schultz, branch manager of BCB Bank. Yes, it's gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> All so it's my pleasure to always support this. Uh, this is one of those staples that is just always very supportive. We always have great speakers. We always have great presentations. Um, I've been loving hearing from Jackie through a lot of different events this past year for everything that the SBDC is doing for the community and the small businesses in our, in our county. It's great to be here. It's our pleasure to support it. And uh, on behalf of BCB Bank, um, come talk to us, come say hello, and anything we can do to try and help the businesses in the county, we're here to do that. Thank you, Bon. I think I thank you so much, Holly, for you know for sponsoring. And often you are the sponsor, so we really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so Anne, who's at the top right side of my screen here is going to uh, handle the introductions and she'll start us off on how to do that because we want to stay on time here. So you're on, Anne. Thank you, Sherilyn, and thank you, everybody. Jackie, thank you for your time today. Uh, we're just going to go around the room real quickly to introduce ourselves, given the time frame, and we want to hear all of Jackie's great presentation. We just want to hear your name and the business you're with, and then we'll move forward. So I'll start it off here. I'll just call everybody off. My name is Ann Dubon Murphy. I'm with Heartland Payment Systems. It's as simple as that. Uh, so Ro, if you could please go next. Hi, Ro Couture de Saro. I'm the CEO and founder of Gutsy Gals Get More and the Executive Managing Director for eWomen Network. Thanks, Ro. And then we'll have Jerry, Holly, and Tara. Good morning, everyone. Jerry Vigiani with Lotus Blossom Psychotherapy. And hi again, everybody. Holly Schultz with BCB Bank. Tara Demianovich, Outside the Box Gift. Great. Next, we'll have Mark Vigiani, mm -hmm. Patrick mm -hmm. Devine, and Therese. Mark Vigiani, Berkshire Hathaway, Fox and Roach, uh, Realtors. Patrick Devine, Investors Bank. Therese Rolke, Executive Director with this beautiful chamber with all you members, uh, Mammoth Regional Chamber of Commerce. And next we'll have Dawn, Stephen, and Sherilyn. Hello, Dawn Malinowski from Social Trend Marketing Solutions. Stephen may be on the phone here. We'll come back to him. Uh, Sherilyn, then Dorothea. Okay, so Sherilyn Przlomski, Business Enhancement Services and Training, HR Certified. Hi, everybody. Sorry, I don't, my video is just not working. Um, Dorothy Zando, I am a Wealth Management Consultant at Rosso Financial Group. 
Oh, Ann, you're muted. Sorry. Uh, next, we'll have Bonnie, Joanne G, and Joanne C. Bonnie Preston, Conover Buyer Associates, Property and Casualty Insurance. Hi, Joanne Gubitosi with Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski. Hi, Joanne Colella, Colella Communications, Writing and Editing Services. Next, we'll have Jilda, Tamar, and Carrie. Good afternoon, Jilda Healy, Healy Brokerage, Property and Casualty Services. Tam Raguda, New York Life. Hi, Carrie Kuskowski from The Connection. Okay, thank you. Uh, we'll go back, Stephen, and then Al, and then Catherine, if she's able. Hi, Stephen Metz, Central Jersey Pools. Hi, Al Alvisi, Alfred Alvisi Associates, your independent insurance broker. Catherine Dwyer, Colts Neck Insurance. And I think that's it. I did get everybody, I believe. Thank you all so much. You all listened so beautifully. Thank you, Cheryl, and back to you. Thank you, Anne. And um, Bonnie, did I get you before when I announced the team? I think I did. But anyways, if I didn't, we got- Yes, you did. <laughs> okay, thank you, because I <laughs> didn't see your face on there. So, okay, so um, I'm gonna turn it over to Jerry. And she's gonna introduce Jackie. Are you muted, Jerry? Yeah, I just unmuted. <laughs> I have to like jumble the screen around. Um, it's my pleasure to be able to introduce Jacqueline. Uh, nice to meet you, Jacqueline. I have never met you before, so I'm excited to hear you speak. Um, Jacqueline serves as the regional director for America's SVDC New Jersey, covering Monmouth and Ocean counties. In her professional life, there are endless examples of her initiative, creativity, and excellence. Jacqueline brought the center into the spotlight through her forward thinking, cutting edge approach to entrepreneurship. Under her leadership, the center has assisted in the growth of multiple businesses and has won numerous awards ranging from economic development for their impact in Monmouth and Ocean counties to winning national pitch competitions. She is a leader, seasoned business advisor, strategist, speaker, and entrepreneur. Jacqueline is a business profess professor teaching introduction to business, introduction to marketing and entrepreneurship at Brookdale Community College. Jacqueline has always been a strong leader in the community, supporting youth, women, and businesses. In her non-professional life, she has been the chairman of the steering committee of achievers of the Red Bank YMCA, which is a youth development program. Currently, she is the chairman of the board of the EMACC Educational Foundation and sits on the boards of Brookdale Community College Business Advisory Board, SCAN, and the Girl Scouts of the Jersey Shore. Oh, that's my kind of woman. <laughs> and has served on the Revitalization Program Newark Regional Business Assistant Corporation and the Brookdale Community College's Educational Service Master Plan Committee. In 2019, Jacqueline was the recipient of the Hometown Heroes Award in recognition of her commitment to women entrepreneurship. In May of 2018, Jacqueline was awarded the Business Leadership Award by the Community Fairs and Resource Center for her significant contrib contributions to the community she serves. In 2016, Jacqueline was selected as an Athena Award nominee in recognition of her professional and community services. Jacqueline was the first recipient of the Monmouth County Women in Business Award in 2015. And under her leadership, uh, the American SBDC New Jersey at Brookdale Community College was the, re was the recipient of the 2014 Silver Goal uh, Economic Development Award. In 2010, Wow, Jacqueline. <laughs> Jacqueline uh, was the recipient of the New Jersey Minority Achievers Award for her outstanding professional development and community involvement. She holds a bachelor's degree from Hunter College and an MBA from Ashford University and has a doctorate in management from the University of Maryland Global Campus. 
Outside of professional and community interests, she is an adventurer who loves to travel and enjoys living in Middletown, New Jersey with her two children and their family pet dog, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Welcome, Jacqueline. Fabulous. Thank you, Jerry. I, I love your presentation of me. Thank you. <laughs> Did a nice job of my bio. I want to thank everybody. I mean, I see quite a few familiar faces on the screen um, regarding the chamber. Thank you for having me back again. Like Sherilyn said, it has been a while, uh, but I am so happy to be here. And I really want to thank Holly for putting me out there again. <laughs> Holly's good for me, <laughs> you know, making sure I'm doing my outreach and completing what I have to do on my end. So thank you for that as well. Uh, so for those of you who are not familiar with the Small Business Development Center, I want to share a bit about who we are, what we do, how we're here to assist you. I mean, we're here all the time. It's not just during the pandemic. I'm happy to report that our particular SBDC, and I go our because I'm so fond of our program at Brookdale, it's been around for almost 47 years. So it's not um, new. We've been around for a while. We've helped endless, countless businesses either get started or continue to grow because our focus is about sustainability, helping the business prosper no matter the economic condition. So I do have a little PowerPoint and the PowerPoint is gonna talk to you and let you know about the SBDC in general, then who we are here at Brookdale and what are the different programs. And I'm looking at Ro because she was one of our main speakers at our Women Entrepreneurs Rock program. So, you know, yep did a fabulous job. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to share my PowerPoint with you. And then of course, if you have questions, um, please ask. I did take the liberty of putting several links into the chat in case you want to copy it. And I figured this way I wouldn't be distracted. And it has to do with some funding programs that I'm going to talk about because deadlines are approaching and I want to make sure that everyone is aware of them, as well as our contact information for our particular center at Brookdale Community College. Even though we're virtual, like most of you, we do pick up our messages. We are having our sessions virtually. And like the chamber, we're having events on the platform as well. So I am going to start it. Give me a moment while I, hold on. When I share my screen, there we go. I want to make sure I could see some of you. <laughs> and oops, one thing. Come on. There we go. And here we go. There we go. Okay. So I'm sure I get to see everybody while I'm talking a little bit. So I just have to adjust my screen so that could happen. All right. So America's SBDC. Who are we and what we do and what is our purpose? You know, our goal really is to help businesses start, grow, and succeed. So it doesn't matter what stage of business you're in, we at the SBDC can help you. You know, our focus definitely is to make sure that you become sustainable. So I always say, you know, and you're going to hear me say this more than once, where are your tax dollars at work? And that's going to come up as well. So who are we? We're part of a national network. What does that mean? That doesn't matter what state you're in, there's an SBDC center that can help you. You know, not only do we cover all 50 states, we also cover the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Guam, and the Samoas. So think of an organization that could provide endless counts of service because of our size alone. So we have over a thousand SBDC centers nationwide who are actively working in assisting small businesses. So here in the state of New Jersey, our network is comprised of 12 full service regional centers with over 20 additional affiliate locations. So as you can see in the map, there is an SBDC center close to wherever you are, whether it's your business or your home. The purpose of making sure that we cover all 21 counties is to make sure that our clients are able to receive the service where they feel most comfortable 
if it's at home because it's most convenient for you or where, if it's where your business is located, we want you to know that we're there to assist you. So our regional centers are hosted or affiliated with a two-year or four-year college or university. Our particular center, I'm happy to say, our host is Brookdale Community College, which they've always embraced us from the beginning and continue to do so. So each one of our center has, we all share certain aspects and then we all have some specialties that go along with it. And you'll see as I keep on moving forward. So our centers are funded in part by the federal government through the SBA, we're considered one of their technical support as well as the business act Action Center here in the state of New Jersey, in addition to private entities and our host institution. So our funding is comprised of several entities because they all understand the value of assisting small businesses. So in that, our mission, pretty simple. Our mission is to assist, guide, establish businesses and inspiring entrepreneurs in either creating or expanding, helping them create that cutting edge. Businesses that have worked with us through the SBDC, it has been proven, go much further than those that do not. In turn, you know, what we're looking for is to help them sustain their growth. You know, starting a business, I tell people that could be the easy part. Sustaining the growth is the hard part. And we're here to make sure that that can occur. Our focus not only is sustainable growth, but it's about job creation. If we're helping a business sustain itself, then they're growing financially and now are able to employ other individuals, thereby creating that job growth and creation. Also, in addition to helping the economic development of their region. So our region is Mammoth and Ocean County and we're always looking to see how is it that we can continuously help the small business community. And most of all, for those new entrepreneurs is really helping them to realize that American dream of business ownership. So for us with economic development, you know, the NJSBDC, our network is the largest one statewide when you think about infrastructure covering all 21 counties that's able to provide those entrepreneurial services, thereby playing a key role in New Jersey's economic development. You know, some of those initiatives include assisting the entrepreneurs, like I said, from the beginning stages all the way through mature stages. You know, as a business grows, one of the things that we know is a few things have to take place. One has to do with mentorship and counseling. Another has to do with obtaining capital. If your business is gonna grow, there needs to have, you need to have some capital in order to make that happen. So one of the things that we are known for is really helping small businesses package those loans. So when they go out to the lender, it improves their chances of obtaining the funds that they need in order for their business to grow. Now, one of the things that I do want to share with you is regarding the impact that our particular network has had in the community, I, I should say statewide, because it's not just our center, this is our network in its entirety. But the fiscal year of 2020, the federal fiscal year, our particular network counseled over 5,800 clients. That's one-on-one. -on -one that we provided services for. We delivered over 19,000 total counseling hours, averaging about 3.4 hours per client. 67% of our clients were actually those that were established businesses. So therefore you could see that it's not some people. At one point always thought that the SBDC was here only to help businesses at the beginning. We're not. We're here to help businesses throughout their entire growth um, stages. On top of that, we sponsored over 578 training sessions. In those training sessions, we helped individuals who attended those training seminars. We had over 12,000 of them participate. We delivered over 15,000 total training hours. And then when it came to job support and job creation, we assisted in helping businesses maintain over 25,000 jobs. On top of that, we assisted uh, the average, sorry, the average year since 
2015 is that we consistently throughout the years help create between 14,000 jobs or save those jobs, which are critical when we're talking about the economic development of our regions. We facilitated in over $144 million in total financing. This is where we were working with our clients to help them acquire the financing they need, whether to start their business, to grow their business. In addition to that, what came out of that was that our clients generated more than $2.9 in sales revenue generating millions of dollars in business tax revenues to the overall treasury and with an estimated 87 million conservatively in sales tax revenue to the state of New Jersey. So this is us as a network, what we're able to do for the state of New Jersey. So as you can see here, we service all industries, all stages, doesn't matter what stage you're in. Our focus is to make sure that you know that our services are here. As I mentioned before, we get funded by government entities. Those government entities know the value of the small business community. I'm sure you've heard it in the past that small businesses are the backbone of America's economy. Same thing here in the state of New Jersey and same thing in Monmouth and Ocean County. So our SBDC services. Our SPDC services are really comprised of one thing that we are exceptional at is at providing the one-on-one -on -one counseling service. Not only is it one-on-one, -on -one, but it's also confidential. So when you're sitting with us, rest assured that the information that you actually share with us is not shared with anyone else. It doesn't matter that we are funded in part by the government we don't share that information with them. We do collect data. I always have to tell people that it's important for us to collect data because those entities that are funding us want to know how we're doing. So we track what's going on with our clients, but the information that's shared is really demographics and to ensure that we're providing the right service. How else? Through educational and training programs. And I'm going to get a little deeper into that in a little bit, but our organization is known for providing the education that you need in order for your business to be successful and sustainable. And those change throughout the years based on the needs of the business community. We provide information resources. You know, I consider us a collaborator because we work with so many other resource partners. It's not just, you know, um, the SBA, we work with SCORE, we work with NJEDA, we work with so many resource partners across the board and have some great relationships with them, which in turn helps our clients. We put together specialized programs, not only at our state level, but also at our local level. So as I mentioned here, our one-on-one -on -one confidential counseling, it's at no cost to you. And I don't think I mentioned it before, but I do want to state it now. There's never a charge for our counseling services to you. It's absolutely free. While there's times that we may actually charge for our training sessions, you know, and that is because, again, you know, we are a nonprofit organization. Therefore, we do have to pay our instructors. But when things happen and we don't have to charge our clients for attending the events, such as what we're going through right now in the pandemic, we don't. But in regular times, there's a small fee, a nominal fee that it, we do charge for the workshops. So we discuss in our one-on-one -on -one conf confidential, excuse me, confidential counseling sessions, try to say that three times, right? We discuss ideas, strategies. We really work with you to identify what is your problem, come up with several several solutions and see what is going to be the best strategy for you. But most of all, that that strategy is implementable, that is tactical, and that you can make it happen. One thing about us at the SBDC, we're here to help you learn to do for you. We're not here to do for you. So while we work like putting together business plans, I get people saying, will you write it for me? No. I can tell you right now, we don't do that. What we want you to do is to get the best that you can out of that exercise because it's gonna help your business, again, succeed and become sustainable. During our session, we share knowledge and information. Again, making sure you're receiving that critical 
information, that guidance that you need in order to get you on your way to make sure that it's actionable and that you can get it done. It's a place where you can ask all your questions, no matter what they are. I always say, if you're sitting with me in a counseling session, if I know the answer, you got it. And if I don't, give me a moment. We, I will go find out and bring it to you. Uh, we provide access to university faculties as well as research and development expertise. So our specialized programs with the state, right? So our, as I mentioned, it is a network. It's comprised of 12 centers. Our headquarters is out of Rutgers University in North, the business school. And out of our network, rather our headquarters, we have some specialty programs. And I'm gonna leave New Jersey Thrives for the end, but I wanna talk about the other three, right? So I'm gonna start with procurement because most people are familiar with procurement. But if you're not, the purpose of our procurement procurement program is to provide superior quality programming and counseling services to New Jersey small businesses, women-owned businesses, minorities, and the purpose is to help your business realize the potential that you can have working with the government. Because if you're not aware of it, our federal government is the largest consumer of product and services. So while you may think really would the federal government want to do anything with me, you would be absolutely surprised at the fact that they would. So along with that, not only do we work making sure that you are registered in the correct databases, we also, if you wanted to work on a local level with your local government, or the state government, we're here to make sure that we can assist you within that process. Also, under international trade. Under our current administration, international trade has again risen to the top. One of the things that they do want small businesses to be aware of that there is a possibility for your business to engage in international trade. So our particular specialty program provides that one-on-one -on -one counseling that you need, as well as courses, a series of courses to ensure that you cover all the essential aspects of international trade. You know, some people think that you know, if you sell something online to Canada, guess what? You're engaging in international trade. So you have to make sure that you're abiding by the rules and the regulations that have been set for that program. And then we have technology and commercialization. And under technology and commercialization, the main focus there is to provide guidance and assistance in small businesses who are pursuing uh, small business innovation research grants, as well as transfer of technology grants. Now, this is for a business who's looking to scale. You're looking to commercialize, but you're still going through the R&D phase. Beautiful to know that our government, our federal government has plenty of grants. This is the only time that I talk about grants. You know, most people come to us except for now because of the pandemic and there's a few grants that are, have come up and that you as a regular business owner would take advantage of. But during normal, I, I don't even know how to phrase normalcy anymore because I don't know what that is yet. Mm -hmm. But during normal times, under technology and commercialization, if your business is going through a research and development phase, you can definitely, if it's something that one of the government entities is thinking of, like the Department of Transportation or the Department of Defense, and it's something that you're putting together that they may be able to utilize, there may be a grant in there for you. So imagine not having to do not even a sales while you work on your research and development. So that's with technology in commercialization. And now New Jersey thrives because of the pandemic and the fact that businesses had to pivot. One of the things that we all learned to do, whether you were a for-profit, nonprofit, it didn't matter. We learned to pivot. We learned to utilize technology to our fullest capacity in order to keep businesses going. So the New Jersey Thrive program came up and it's funded through our CARES um, dollars. It's a comprehensive program of several online courses designed to help your business leverage its capabilities as well as its competitive edge in order for you to succeed in today's economic climate. 
The program is designed to help you enhance your business management skills for your business success, growth potential, and post-pandemic resiliency. We're all about being resilient at the SBDC. You know, like I said, we've been here, we will be here. We went through Sandy. This is a whole different disaster than Sandy. You know, so we're, we've always been here. We will continue to be here as well. So the benefits of taking advantage of this program is the comprehensive benef uh, business management training that you'll receive. And this is at no cost to the individual who chooses to participate. The expert content with streamlined consulting, reinforcing the training, you get on top of that. So you also get our one-on-one -on -one consultant, making sure that you understand what did you learn from it? How do you implement it? And make sure that you are on your way. The thing with this program is that the time frame it began January of 2021, and it was scheduled to end September 30th, 2021. However, I did receive notice that they're looking to expand our CARES dollars into September of 22, 2022, right? So that being said, I want you, you know, at this moment, I am saying that it's ending September 20th, but that is subject to change. So in our particular center, you know, we have our own specialty programs as well. Some of them are annual events. Some of them uh, run through a period of time. We have series that we've come up with. So here I just highlighted three of our specialty programs, right? So the first one is our Women Entrepreneurs Rock, which again, Ro, Thank you for being our MC. She was our MC. I think it was in number five. We're actually up to number eight when it comes to our Women Entrepreneurs Rock event. During this event, we have a panel of amazing women coming from different walks of life, even coming from out of New Jersey. You know, we've had uh, women panelists coming as far as Denver to present for us. And during this event, which is usually held at the Stone Pony. And I'm praying we're back there in October, which will be our eighth annual Women Entrepreneurs Rock event. It's held at the Stone Pony. You know, hence Rock event, Women Rock. That was the how it started as a joke, but it morphed into this amazing program. Last year for our seventh one, because of the pandemic, we actually put it on a platform, which is still available. If anyone wants to partake and see what happened during our seventh annual Women Entrepreneurs Rock, and we actually created a series out of it. So it wasn't just one event, which was typical in past years, but we created a webinar series where women speakers are talking on topics of, we have Alisa Askelis talking about um, women inventing from A to Z, what they need to do. We have Lisa Kanda, who was actually the person who spoke with me the last time I was here. And she talks about tools for women. We have one covering financing. And, you know, it's an opportunity just to received information from women who have gone through some of the challenges that you may be going through, and especially during the pandemic, uh, because for women, um, and no offense to men, of course, who are on the call, but women tend to be the supporters at home. And with having to homeschool your kid or do schooling from home, tremendous stressors that came out of there. So a great deal of things happened to women during the pandemic that men may not you know, tune into of what we had to go through as a woman entrepreneur. So we also have our foodiepreneur and this one comes up every time in May. Uh, this year in May is actually gonna be May 25th if you're interested. And this, again, we bring a panelist of individuals who focus on the food service industry because of our region being what it is making sure that if you're in the starting phase, you're looking to put together a food truck or open up a business, this is the place where you wanna be. If you're looking to manufacture food, again, this is the place you where you wanna be. You know, We even get a buyer from Whole Foods to come and talk to you about what is it that a buyer looks for when they're looking to buy products for a food service establishment, such as Whole Foods. So he'll be there as well. So this is just to give you an idea. And then our big pitch. And with our big pitch, this was actually a pilot program that we started 
before the pandemic and then realized that we had to just pivot everything like everyone else and put it online in order to make it happen. And this, we partnered up actually with the city of Long Branch to create an accelerator program. And what this Accel accelerator program did was we had a main pitch event where we had people come up and pitch their ideas. And those that were selected were able to go through our accelerator program, which was supposed to be a 17 week program, but thanks to the pandemic, we had to stretch it out a little longer. But I have to tell you, all the participants who were selected in this big pitch, part of the Long Branch Accelerator Program completed the program in its entirety. It was an opportunity for those that had an idea. We helped them flush out the idea, obtain the information they needed to make sure that the business was gonna be, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? I just drew a blank, I'm sorry here. <laughs> that it was gonna be successful, that there was the potential for success for success was there. But those that were in business, helping them to get to the next stage. Not only did we partner with the city of Long Branch, but we also partnered with an organization called Create Labs, which are extremely fabulous. They really worked with us, with our clients, making sure that at any time that they developed a pitch deck and were able to pitch their business in order to acquire funding, whether it was through a venture capitalist, angel investor, or even a loan officer. So these are just some of the programs that our, pro our particular center has been involved in. And while you see these here, we have similar ones. Our sister centers, as I call them, have similar programs as well. So the workshops, I mean, for us, the education and the training aspect, it is about workshops. It's about seminars. It's about putting together business expos and conferences, thereby delivering the knowledge you need, information you need in order for your business to grow. You know, our topics vary depending on what you need. It could be basic, you know, just getting the fundamentals of what it is to start a business and creating that foundation to the advanced part of leadership. And what does a leader need to do in terms of management and organization? What skills should they have? Our instructors and presenters do include some of our SBDC uh, directors, our consultants, it includes faculty, it includes government experts, as well as individuals from the private sector. So in terms of information sources that we provide, we have access to some sources that you don't. For example, the SBDC Net National Information Clearinghouse. This is only for SBDC consultants, you can get on their website and you can get general information from their website. But if you need research information or marketing information and you need to have a deep dive, you wanna contact your SBDC center because we can get this for you. And it eliminates you know, the, what you have to do in order to do the research. So it takes away you know, that time that you would need to put in to get the research. We get the research packet for you and we give it to you. We receive it electronically. And it really does help when you're looking to restructure your business plan, when you're looking to redo your business model, the information is there in order for your business to move along. So whether you're interested in starting a small business, you're looking to strategize, figure out how to increase sales, is your marketing strategy not what it should be for right now? If you're looking to obtain some certifications because you want to engage in procurement, you're looking to win some contracts, again, improve your skill set, whether it's managerial or understanding certain, certain aspect of business. If you're looking to reduce costs, you're looking at your bottom line and it's just not where you, you would like it to be, you know, you want to come out and meet with us. You know, we really look at your financials as well. We know cash flow is quite important in order for a business to be successful. And we want you to be successful. So the things, the list goes on and on. Not that it can't, but it does go on and on. That being said, I love to believe, and I know this, that we are boots on the ground. We're constantly keeping our ear to the ground, figuring out what is it that businesses need, not just during this climate, but all the time. So we're you know, finding the ways and saying, are we providing the services that you need?
So before I get into, you know, if you want to visit our website or you want to call, this is for our particular website, and I included that in the chat function. But on the bottom, you can see here the www.njsbdc.com. If you don't happen to happen to be in our region, I recommend you visit that website to see which SBDC location is suited for you. Now, on top of that, one of the things that I mentioned earlier, and again, I put the information in the chat, is that I do want to make you aware of some funding opportunities. I want to remind you that the NJEDA's emergency grant, phase four, the pre-registration ends today at five o'clock. If you're thinking that you may want to partake in that opportunity, register. It doesn't mean you have to take the funding, but if you're not registered, you won't be able to put in the application and at a later date. So today is the last day for that. And then regarding SBA, their restaurant revitalization funding grant, that's going to open up tomorrow, where again, that's a pre-registration. The actual application starts May 3rd. And even though I said restaurant, I want you to know that it's not just for restaurants. In there, you also have distilleries, you have breweries, you have bars. So just because restaurant is in the title, I wanna make sure that you are aware that if this is something you wanna do, you have any questions, by all means, reach out to us. You can just check the website for yourself if you would like, uh, and we'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. So with that, I want you to know that as always, we are your tax dollars at work. Don't delay if you have a question to contact us. You know, during good times and bad times, we're here. We're here to help you. Our goal, and I always say for our center and for our entire network, is to make sure that your business is a success. So it doesn't matter what stage you're in. We're here to help you. And I want you to know that if we, by chance, do not have the resource that you're looking for, we will find it for you. Because again, remember, we're part of a national organization and that infrastructure is huge. So with that, I am going to stop my presentation and see if anyone has any questions. Jackie, that was excellent, so informative. And I have to say, as much as I knew about, you know, everything that was there to offer, but when you said it's through all the growth stages, that really impacted me because I'm not sure if that was really, I don't know, it hit me. And I love the fact that, the business owner writes their own business plan because that's how you really learn. So right. that was excellent. Um, we have just, um, would you be able to hang out for maybe 10 minutes longer? Sure. If okay, Absolutely. in case people have to drop off and there might be a few more questions, but we do have time for two short questions before we do the raffle. So anybody who's, you know, raise your hand if you wanna, you know, yeah, Carrie, it looks like Carrie's got a question. Hello, Jacqueline. Hi, uh, Carrie. Hi, how are you? Uh, Good. Thank you for the presentation. I do know I, I personally take the courses myself, any kind of webinars that come out, I make sure that it's on or I just register so I can get the recordings. Um, I don't actually have a question. I just wanted to say how uh, beneficial, uh, you know, you can you can reap a lot of benefits by um, just going to the website and, and, you know, finding out what you can learn or get from um, the SBDC and you know, I don't know if you remember, but you spoke. Well, you remember, but I don't know. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but yeah, you spoke on the HBOA um, mm -hmm. uh, meeting one time. So mm -hmm. it's you know, it's a lot of information, and um, I, I I would take advantage of of it if I were you. So good to see you again. Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> confirmation of what you do. So that was great, Carrie. <laughs> yes. Um, Thank you for the support. <laughs> so um, we got time for one more question. And then again, we'll do the raffle. And if anybody wants to hang out just for an extra few minutes, that'd be great. Dawn, did you have a question? Yes. Um, if you do the counseling, is there specific things you need to uh, like have on hand before the counseling starts? Um, or do you send questions? Like, how does that work? Well, I always love questions. But the first thing you have to do is you have to register in our system because we are required for confidentiality reasons for you to complete the form that understand for you to understand it is confidential and you'll be in our system. Once that happens, someone will contact you from our office to schedule an appointment. Uh, 
During that appointment, usually we do an initial just to try to, you know, who are you, where you're from, what kind of business you're in, that whole thing, and then dive into what kind of services that you need. So depending when you're taking the counseling session, if it's after a program that we've given and you have a list of questions to help guide you, absolutely. I highly recommend that you come in with questions. Do you need them? No, but I think they're great and useful and they help the counseling session be quite efficient. So okay. I, I recommend it, but it's not necessary. It helps us at our end, and especially if you submit them earlier, because if there's any research that we need to do to provide you with the information, then we'll have it on hand. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Dawn. Mm -hmm. Jackie, so in if we were in person right now, we would mm -hmm. be handing you a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> so that's going to be delivered to you at some point. Um, <laughs> yes, by next week. So it comes to you. It will come to you. you but... Um, <laughs> yeah, that's what, you know, that's what we'll be giving you as a big thank you and oh. a thank you card from our committee because this committee absolutely, you know, just when they, when they hear about a speaker I, and, and it's overwhelming. Yes, 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 Jackie, when, when the email went out. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank so, you. I want you to know that from the wow. committee. So thank you. And um, we're going to run into, you know, we're going to go right to that raffle, but I want to thank Tara, who is on the committee, who has her wonderful business she's so creative and she makes everything look absolutely elegant beautiful and professional and she did that for our raffle and thank you to all um, that donated and i'll let tara take that on right now and you know show the big basket in the little screen <laughs> me a little bit off of uh off a of mute jeez i tell you the challenges we have okay so here's my a uh, gift that's from everyone uh, in the Women in Business Committee and uh, this big $50 gift card from BCB Bank. And then we have this beautiful Dearborn uh, geranium plant with lots of buds coming in <laughs> and it's nestled into this really cute welcome. It's a patriotic wheelbarrow, <laughs> wheelbarrow that uh, you can put in your yard or on your doorstep would look, I would definitely have this covered because it doesn't look like it's shellacked. So uh, that is our gift for today for our lucky winner. Beautiful, Tara. Thank you. I hope you can see good. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. I know she does it an amazing great. job. It looked great. Whoever gets to, whoever wins it, she gets to deliver it or we drop it off somewhere. So, um, <laughs> all right, Trez, you want to, all right, I'm going to share my screen. We have our wheel of names and, uh, we're going to spin the wheel and see who the lucky winner is. Can you see the wheel? Yes. Look at all those men on that wheel. Thank you. I know. Men. I know. And let's see, let's see if what true, what, what happens in the past happens now. <laughs> We always say the men end up winning. <laughs> oh, Yay, I'm so excited. Oh, great. You know, in the Yay. practice one, Yay. So exciting. you know, in the practice one, it, she came up. Didn't uh, it? God is good, everyone. God is and good. I, I told her, yes. I said, I wonder, I hope it happens again for the live one. <laughs> I love that wheel. I love the wheel. <laughs> Congratulations, fun. Catherine. I mean, that's, it's a great gift. And, you know, you're really, really hustling and doing so much for the chamber. And it's going straight to Nana's house. So, you know, she deserves oh. it. <laughs> She's going to give it right back. So with that summit coming up on Saturday, you are so deserving of it. And again, pass the word, even if you can't make it, but it's just worth your time on Saturday morning. So thank you to everyone and Jackie again, Jacqueline, thank you so much. Um, if you, if anybody wants to hang out for a few minutes, you know, please do. And, um, but uh, I'm going to hang out. I got a question for you on management. Right. Training, so. <laughs> thank you all for letting me speak. It has been my pleasure. Oh, thank I'll come you, up Jackie. with another organization for you, Jackie, soon. I promise <laughs> you. I mean, you, I, you, Holly. I'll be your, I'm going to, I think I'm your PR director. I know. Get it that way, Holly. <laughs> I know. I know. When she dropped the name, like, oh my gosh, that was so long. I couldn't believe how long ago. So it was great. Again, it was overwhelming. Yes, by everybody, you know. Thank you. Yeah, well, I might have you. something for you, Jacqueline. I will be in touch. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Another PR person. Right, Holly? Yep. 
<laughs> no, no. Love it. Nice job. Okay, you. so if you've yeah. got a one, you can. And I have a question for you though, Jackie, if you don't need okay, direction. Sure. Management training, uh, what kind of management, just, I mean, just a few, what are the most popular ones that you would say for management training that you would, uh, that you see? That we've seen actually um, learning to onboard employees. Yeah. Actually, we're looking at a new one, reboarding, because of what we're going through the pandemic right now. So that's huge. Yeah. Um, in terms of leadership, we receive a lot of calls regarding HR. Again, employee focus related yeah. um, management in terms of time management for leaders, looking at that as well. Good. And I'm trying to think under the pandemic, you know, like everybody else, um, leaders stress more than any anyone else and how to manage that stress. Yeah. So those, uh, I know you had, um, let's no. I'm trying to think, um, Donna Lynn, was she in this group or not? I'm trying to remember yes. when Donna Lynn spoke and she's, yes. you know, I know she's a huge um, speaker when it comes to leadership. Absolutely. So I know, you know, we're her topics, but those are right now because of the pandemic, it had to do with time management. It had to do with HR. Simply think about it. People are working from home. How do you know they're being productive, not productive? Where do you draw the line? Understanding the boundaries. So that thing, so the, Boarding of new employees and the reboarding of those employees that may have been furloughed and bringing them back. That's exactly so it. Yeah, that's... Donnelly was our last speaker, and then I'm HR certified, so that's my business as a consulting. And I find mm -hmm. that the onboarding is so important. But you're right, reboarding and so reboarding your offerings. So that's what we're looking at to put a series together. One of the things that our center has been doing, especially during the pandemic, instead of offering like single classes, it's creating a series. One is how many of us can sit in front of the Zoom. I love Zoom, but there's times that if I'm not in front of it, I'm a happy camper. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen every day I have to be on Zoom. But if a day goes by and I don't have to be on Zoom, this, like, this lady is happy. You yeah. got it. So, you know, just looking at that if we do it time-wise and we set things up where it's going to run every Tuesday from one to two or whatever it may be, or in the evening for just a short period of time, people are engaging more than if we were trying to do it three hours in yeah. one city. So, you know, we, we look at everything and that's one of the things. So developing programs that fall into a series. So we're looking at creating a series regarding reboarding. That's great because it yeah. really- And then um, for leadership as well is um, redoing their business plan and their mm -hmm. modeling. You did the business that. modeling because of yeah. the pandemic that they had to step back and say, what are the things that I have to change? And even the way we work, you know, what, what's working, what's not, what is it that we can still hold on to even past the pandemic? Because I feel that it has changed and will continue to change our environment, our work environment. It's never going to go back to what it was before. No, it just shifts and it shifts. And every time mm -hmm. I like, get all the HR webinars I'm on, I'm like, you know, and I go back at the slides that I read, you know, like six months ago, I'm like, okay, we're in a different period again. And here we go. Again. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I feel right. with the funding issues that I'm like, oh my gosh. And we yeah. try to get out information as quickly as possible, but it's overwhelming. I mean, and this morning I was on one that I was like, holy moly. Now try to get this out as quickly as possible. So yeah. all our small businesses can benefit from it. My so, employment law lawyer, lawyers that I tend that do these webinars, they're even spinning their heads. They're just like, you know, I don't know how this is going to really work. But <laughs> and you're like, crazy. Yeah. Crazy. How deep do you go into this? It's like, okay, we don't know what SBA yeah. is going to do tomorrow. Weekends, I fear, because I'm like, <laughs> gives people to think and something else will happen on Monday. So what you said on Friday, by Monday, it's not applicable anymore. Yeah. So. <laughs> Well, you got great energy and you must love your job. I do. I do. My focus is entrepreneurship. I really believe that everyone at one point or another in their lives should engage in entrepreneurship. D developing the entrepreneurial mindset is critical. Yeah. And that is what's going to move people forward, whether you're doing it for yourself or you're doing it for an organization, working for someone else. If you have that entrepreneurial mindset, you know, you think about innovation and how can you do things differently and you don't come become complacent. It's a wonderful thing. So that's where my energy comes from. 
<laughs> I, I, I can see that. And I, you know, there's two on here that I want to say like Roe is all for, you know, all about. Absolutely. <laughs> we, got, we got Joanne here that is always, cause I used to do PR and I'm so busy with HR. I kind of let that go now, but Joanne's yeah. like, you know, it's like how to promote constantly these small businesses and get them out there and mm -hmm. known. So it's great. And that, that mindset piece is like 80%. It is it's a huge, right. huge piece of it. Mm -hmm. It's the main thing. Um, it's what keeps most people stuck. Mm -hmm. So, and, and Jacqueline, I do want to formally congratulate you on your on your doctorship. I mean, Thank I know you. how hard you work for that, and <laughs> for all you do for everything else on the side at late at night. She was studying for her PhD. So, Thank you, congratulations. Ro. Thank you. I just got it in December, but that's why I say I use the okay. title now because I'm like I struggle for that title so. <laughs> I worked totally. hard. Not that I tried. I really worked hard for it. And believe it or not, what did I focus on? Entrepreneurship. <laughs> yeah, good. What Definitely. else did you write about? Entrepreneurship. <laughs> I mean, that is such a, I mean, that is, I, congratulations, Jacqueline. That Thank is so, you. so fabulous. I mean, to sit there and go through all that and be working. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's doable. I'm here to show it's doable. If that's what you want, it's not for, but if that's what you want, it's always doable. You know, I'm a lifelong learner. Yes. So I continue. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, for you well for that. On because I wanted to chat for a few more minutes, but I wanted to allow people to jump off that needed to and be part of that raffle that is so important. So no, absolutely. So, but if anybody has any other questions, I got my questions out of the way. So I kind of <laughs> hogged you just now for a minute. So, <laughs> so. quick question. Sure. Um, and forgive me, I, I was losing my internet, so I may have missed this. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I know the SBDC uh, has wonderful resources about improving the internally your organization and what you do and all of that. Um, is, is there also a process where you match, like, a, you know, like, like Cheryl Ann said, I, you know, I do marketing writing and, and copy editing and things like that. Is there a resource within the SBDC where a business such as mine or someone else's can be on a list or as a, you know, a referral serve as a resource to a referral mm -hmm. for other businesses that need your services yes you can definitely reach out to us we would i wrote your name down joanne i have to tell you because boy okay. do people want you <laughs> right <laughs> writing services oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> so you could definitely reach out to me um you shoot me an email you, uh, it's the best way and that's on the j fuertes just the last piece of my hyphenated name at brookdale cc.edu mm -hmm. i would love to have your information on file because that is a request that we get so if it's a service that you have what i cannot do is i cannot give you client names because of the confidentiality, right. I can't do that. But I could do the reverse. That if a client contacts mm -hmm. us and is requesting specific information and you don't mind me giving out your information and we're good on that, I have no problems. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's, okay. you know, okay. so Thank for you. us, it's an internal referral because businesses are always looking mm -hmm. um, to see what is it, you know, assistance in different areas. So... Whenever they can. Great. And I, I, I didn't. I had put in the in the in the chat. I I, I have signed up for you know a bunch of the the courses mm -hmm. and the training sessions, and they're they're wonderful. I mean, you cover such a wide range of things. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We try. Really we try. And that's the other thing. If there's mm -hmm. ever a course out there that you're like, you know what, the SBDC should look into this so we can get this. Oh, give me a call. You know, I mean, I have an mm -hmm. amazing team, both internal and external. We have about 15 consultants, external, internal. I have a 14 team members and we're always, you know, brainstorming to see what are the programs, what does the business community need needs are, but we need your help. You know, there's something that we may be overlooking that you're like, you know what, Jackie, you didn't cover this or you didn't say it in your presentation. Maybe you want to take a look at this, you know, and it could be an opportunity for you to present as well. It's not, you know, so for us, it's a win-win, you know, and we realize that if the business community needs it, we're here to make sure that they receive that knowledge and then make sure that they have the opportunity to receive counseling behind it. Because it's not just about having a webinar or uh, presentation because we all walk away with presentations and say, I'm going to do this. 
<laughs> so, you know how you're you know where that <laughs> priority goes as you as you're driving home or if you're you know as you get off the zoom you're like yeah i gotta attack this pile that's on top so by having the counseling session it actually gives you the opportunity to try and implement it you know to come up with that tactic that you need to do to make it happen and we're good at holding you accountable <laughs> you need accountability give us a call we're we're good we're like we need to set up an appointment okay and next month we need to see you again to make sure how far you are we will do that for accountability purposes because i mean time the way it flies i turn around and i go my goodness you know especially within the last year so you know we've learned that okay we i feel anyway and so does my team you know that we if we could hold our clients accountable that'll help them go further at a quicker pace. It's good though. I think that, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. Hi, um, I'm Laura. Hi, nice to meet you. So I was a little late. I was having trouble with my internet this morning. My, <laughs> it would not let me on. Anyway, hello everyone. I have a question. Um, mm -hmm. so a wonderful, wonderful presentation. And I, I am gonna become an involved in SBDC. It's, it's amazing for you helping small businesses, which is my question. I have a startup company, LLC, which eventually will be um, associated with a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. So that's the next, it would have been up and running already, but with the right. pandemic out of work for three months, you know, have to build up a little more funds to continue with the nonprofit. Um, but it, with that being said, could you put in the chat, um, I want to sign up for um, that link, um, that website for the deadline. Um, I, uh, I, I, I typed it in, but it just went into an email, not actually the website, because I just wanted information on um, to sign up by five o'clock today. Okay, so those two, you want to give me just one second. Let yeah, me. I really again. appreciate it, and thank you so much. God bless for what well, you do, oh. and congratulations on on your doctor. It's it's like amazing. Thank you. And, and where are you, Laura? All right, and it just went to you directly, Laura. So in case you didn't get it before, it was a thank you so much, and thank You're you welcome. again. Thank you for all that you do for others. God bless you. Thank you. It, 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 it does make me happy. I have to say, like Sherilyn says, you know, it, this is why I do it because trust me, the pay is not there. But <laughs> it is the joy that I get out of it. You know, it, it, it does. The idea that we were instrumental in helping someone achieve that American dream and keep mm -hmm. it going to, and I say us because my whole team feels that way. It's not just me. So you know, we do what we feel we need to do to help you get to where you need to go. And as a nonprofit, we all know that. I know that going in oh, is mm -hmm. it's service of others. I believe it's, it's God's work. It's not about the money. It's about how we could do and help each other in this world and help Absolutely. each other grow physically, emotionally, and, um, and, and just to help each other grow a business. So thank you for your time. You're very authentic too. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, we see that. And that just says a lot. So, yeah, so... I'll reach out to you if you ever need anybody with HR also. Yeah, I may, I may use you, Sherilyn, the way things are going on with HR right now. I, you know, I feel for my clients, you know, they're not able, even though they're looking for employees, the employees are not there, workforce is not there right now. You know, I was talking with one of my students, uh, Teresa, yesterday, and he was letting me know he works for an automobile dealership. He's a marketing person. And he's like, never in our lives has there been a shortage of cars. Mm. And I go, what do you mean? He goes, because of the production line, people make the chips. They're not working. So they don't have the chips to put on the assembly line. They're for pieces. The cars are not being produced. He goes, by now we would have 2022 coming in. Oh, wow. We barely have 2021 cars. I never even, I was no. like, I thought you guys were struggling in terms of the industry. He goes, nope, it's been one of our most banner years. Wow, isn't that yeah. interesting to hear that? I have to actually, I know Ro has a question. I don't want to miss mm -hmm. out on that, but Steve, Steve Metz, can you hear us? Steve Metz is uh, in Central Jersey Pools. Okay. And yep. uh, he's our speaker. He's our speaker tomorrow morning. And he's going to talk about the same exact thing, the yep. shortage. Mm -hmm. Shortage of pools and spas. Right. Yeah. Yep. Interesting. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is. I mean, you know, people don't realize the impact that it has along the line because we don't understand that whole production chain, delivery chain, and how businesses impact that. 
you know, so you as a small business, you pay, you know, businesses play a huge role. They don't even see how it impacts with corporations because more businesses feed those corporations. They're part of their supply chain. And if you're not doing, if you can't do your business or you don't have the employees to get that done, they don't get what they need. And it's a huge, you know, it's cyclical, it's a cycle. So getting people, that's why. So Cheryl Lynn, we'll talk. We've got to come up with something. I got to figure out how to help our small businesses because because it's huge. Um, Based on my feedback with them, that's what I've been getting myself and my team. That that is the fines are difficult. We got to get to row real quick, but the fines yeah. are difficult. They're difficult, and they're really out there. Because I, I got. I'm not going to go into it now, but I was, I, one of my, um, my clients was audited, and that's how I got into a Department of Labor yeah. audit. And I'm small, so if I could be found, anybody can be found. So, <laughs> you know. So, Ro, do you have a quick question? Yes. So when you were talking about programs, um, mm-hmm. and and what's out there. And I wanted to know if you're seeing interest or you're thinking about this, or maybe you have this already about programs, about collaboration and about, you know, about really leveraging, you know, small business and power partners and working together. What I'm seeing out there is that a lot of the businesses are not doing it correctly. And this goes way beyond just networking. Mm-hmm. This really goes about really the, the deep speeds of collaboration. I'm putting together a presentation about it. Um, as we speak, because I'm seeing this as a big gap. So just wondering if that's something that's come up on your end that you're seeing or not. Actually, not at, I have to say not at the small business for profit level. I see that more on the nonprofit level, Mm. you know, but definitely we can talk real um, to see what, you know, your presentation is coming up. It's something that I would love to test to see um, if the market is there for it. Absolutely, because partnerships is key. If anything I learned in my dissertation, you yeah, have partnerships. Small, it yeah, doesn't matter do it your alone. size. It does we, not matter we can't, your size. We can't do it alone and we can mm-hmm. tap into the power of others as a small business owner. Mm-hmm. And it's a huge power center that we have that it's not being utilized properly or correctly mm-hmm. and um, efficiently. So. Okay, cool. No, and I agree with you. It's something to look at. I think people right now are still really concerned about the funding aspect, but that is something that I do believe is a value. And sometimes businesses don't see the value until it's kind of way too late. So it's important for us to put them out there. So that's why I said you have programs that you believe are of value to the small business community. Definitely, you know, meet with me. I'm not always easy to get, but you have my email. Just hunt me down. I have no problems with it. You know, it's I know where to find my you. Play, my plate gets <laughs> full really quick, and I'm trying to do it all, and then I just kind of, I run like a, you know, it's like I'm running or dead. I have like no in between. So can I put horrible. out? Can I throw my hat into something since I have you here right now? Go ahead. I know I did. I was an MC for an entrepreneur's rock event, which I loved. Mm-hmm. actually learned that I'm like, wow, I could do this. I could be an MC. I like this. This was fun. You were but I'd love to put my hat in for a panelist. Okay. Do it. Oh, Send head. it to me. So I could put you down. We're starting already to collect for the eighth. So what absolutely. Do what do you need? To uh, the eighth annual Women Entrepreneurs Rock. It's in October. Right. What do you need me to send to you? Just send me a just send me an email so I could take the email and put it in my file that says women entrepreneurs rock. And then when I open it, I'm like, Paul, she wants to be a panelist. (laughs) I I put everything where it needs to be. So this way, when I need it, I know where to go. So as we're getting closer to the date, then, you know, I'll go back and I'll say, Ro, okay, you know, you're in, this is what we need. And, you know, and we'll move I mean, I was there from the, from the number one and loved every single all the time. So, love and to I I pray that we're back at the Stone Pony. I really love the venue. Um, they've been exceptionally kind to us all the time, as well as the sponsors for that event. So, and I was just like, oh no! And it was a choice that we either didn't do the seventh, or we, you know, or we did. And I just said we took it to a different platform. You know, the platform is pretty amazing. And 
beauty of it is that we have everything available for the whole entire year. Usually it's a, you know, it's a one night event and then it's done. But with the platform, we were able to create other webinars to go with it. It allowed us to, you know, be innovative. And that's what I love about being an entrepreneur. You have, you know, that opportunity to be innovative. So while I'm helping other people, I'm, you know, creating other things, which makes it fun. I think that's part of what we all love to do, the creativity that we Thank get you. to do within our own businesses. So send me an email, Rose, so I could throw you into my folder. Okay. <laughs> Necessity is the mother great. of invention. There you go. <laughs> that's right, Teresa. That's right. <laughs> appreciate you staying on because I know you are busy and so <laughs> thank you for giving some of us a little extra time because it was so absolutely us. so thank you thank you again for having me thank it you, was Jen. my privilege. that was wonderful thank okay. you great thank you. And Joanne send me something so I could <laughs> yes I promise my, my reference <laughs> So this way, because we do, and they do ask us. So as long as you, um, you're okay with it, you know, we'll supply your information to them as yeah. they do. Yeah, yeah, I, I love that's you know, I'm all about it. particularly, you know, the the nonprofits and the mm -hmm. and the small businesses. That's that's always my focus. You know, getting helping get their word out. By the yeah. way, Ro, this is Good. Joanne, who I mentioned to your daughter. Yeah. Yes, and I and I know yes. who you met. I had yeah, I've met many, many times, so absolutely. You know. <laughs> that connection. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, All right. Everything's well, so I, I don't want to, you know, if you, I know you probably could, we could probably have a ton of questions for you, but I, I want to really respect your time. So again. Again, my pleasure. It was nice seeing you all. And take thank care. You. Stay safe. Thank you. you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Camera, I